this time, it's Gasparilla Week, which means it's time for your inner pirate to come out. And for that to happen, you got to have the right gear. Yeah, the look has to be on point for this. Lee Spann joins us uh, to show us all things pirate <laughs> fashion this year, Lee. Yeah, you know, it could be so much more than an eye patch and a hat. First things first, you need to figure out what century your inner pirate lived. So, in the early time period of the 1600s, they would call the vest a jerkin, right? And then, when it went to the Golden Age 1700s, it was longer, it was called a waistcoat. And then, in the 1800s, it, be, it can, became short again, and it was called a west kit. See? True pirate fashion. Ahoy there, Ivy Tiger Lee of the South China Seas, captain of pirate fashions. Lee owns Pirate Fashions on Cayuga Street near Raymond James Stadium in Tampa and lives the pirate life all year. Even when the pirates were moored during the pandemic, he built this ship for his store. The Golden Mermaid Tiny Pirate Boat. But it's Gasparilla time, so this landlubber must get off the ship and become a lady pirate. It is a pirate hat and weapons that transforms a wench to a lady pirate. First, I picked out my corset dress and just the right shirt. Lady pirates need two skirts. The one underneath is a petticoat. So now this present day me went into the dressing room and came out a wench. Okay, wonderful. But we weren't even close to done. Tiger Lee cinched up the skirts. Oh, look at that. And really cinched up the corset. Now that I can almost breathe, I'm, I have a great posture in this. You do indeed. <laughs> we add the accessories. What all pirates love is the jewel. Finally, the lady pirate signature, the pirate hat, and that weapon. What do you think? Are you ready to hand over the booty? <laughs> <laughs> and you still have time to buy your inner pirate. Most of these clothes, though, they are high ends. So they can get expensive and pricey, but there's also a ton of options as well, you know, depending on how much booty you've recently right. acquired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. You looked awesome, though. Yeah. Corsa, you said it was really Ooh, tight, tight, huh? huh? Oh, he cinched it in and then <laughs> cinched it in again. I was like, whoa, how Scarlett O'Hara feel. <laughs> that is awesome. That's it so was, fun. That, I want, obviously, thanks to Tiger Lee, he had, we had a good time, not, yes. to, not you know, just to say the least. Well, we're going to yeah, see him all out there Saturday. It looked great. Instead of a pirate or a parrot on the show, you have pickles. I have pickles out there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gotta get her a little eye patch. So remember, oh, remember last year it was really, really cold at Gasparilla, right? Yes. Yes. Don't be surprised if you wake up and it feels chilly on Saturday. So okay. let me just give you a very early look at the forecast. Here it is. Again, this may change a little bit, but what we believe is that it is going to be a cold start to Saturday, but a pretty nice warm up. So we'll be still at about 52 at 11 a.m. when those pirates invade during the invasion. There should be a lot of sunshine. So right around 3 o'clock, if you are in the sun, 67 degrees, so it's mild, a little bit below average, but not in the 50s and not cloudy like it was last year. Cools down quickly, so there will be a slight chill if you're out late. That